I'd like to ask you, um, first of all, how did you choose the women that you wrote about? So um, one thing I would say is, as I was teaching in New Mexico, there were people like Nina Otero Warren, who's one of the women I write about in the book, um, who are very well known in New Mexico, right? There are historical markers, there are murals, um, you know, people know her story as a suffragist, but it's really, that story not, wasn't known outside of New Mexico. Um, and so, right, just by being there and learning her history in the state, that's why I, I chose her. But the, the story really got started when I was writing my first book. One of the native women that I was writing about who was an Indian service employee is Marie Louise Botno Baldwin, who's a Turtle Mountain Chippewa woman um, from what is now North Dakota, who uh, moved to Washington DC with her father. They were advocates for tribal sovereignty and kind of contesting a treaty, but she ends up working in the Bureau of Indian Affairs. And then she ends up um, going to law school at a feminist law school in DC and um, becomes involved in the suffrage movement and marches in the 1913 suffrage parade. I don't really talk about that in the first book, but I knew about it. And, um, you know, it was a classic Phil Deloria question. Here was an Indian in an unexpected place, right? The, the 1913 suffrage parade is really famous and I had no idea there was a native woman in it. So I thought, well, I'll write something about her <laughs> for the anniversary. And then it kind of exploded into, into the book. And so um, I had initially thought I would use that parade. There were many African-American women in it. Um, there's at least one Chinese woman and then um, uh, Marie Baldwin. But um, as I was doing the research, I kind of came across other women whose stories were just so compelling. Um, and again, Nina Otero Warren was someone I wanted to include. So it, it expanded a little bit. So I also talk about a woman named Mabel Pinkwa Lee, um, who's a Chinese woman who cannot become a US citizen, but essentially lives here most of her life. And two other native women, Laura Cornelius Kellogg, who's a Wisconsin Oneida, and Gertrude Bonin or Zit Kalasa, who is um, Yangtan, Dakota. And, and Carrie Williams Clifford, who's an African-American woman who is in that 1913 parade. 